are melting here in London, guys. It's so hot and we're so unprepared for the heat. First two weeks of like 30 degrees, we were like, sick, yeah. Summer in London, it's happening, it's happening. Week three, okay, it's a little bit, you can stop now. Four. Done. I can't remember the last time I wasn't sweating. So we're gonna do a makeup video today. I was thinking about what type of video we could do and I thought, well I'm dating quite a lot right now so I'm having to put makeup looks together on my face for dates quite regularly. So I thought why not do a my go-to dating, going on a date beauty look. I personally follow a few do's and don'ts when I go um, on dates as far as makeup's concerned. Although I tend to wear exactly what I want anyway all the time, I am always conscious that with a lot of guys, less is usually more. So I'm going to show you a few ways to like fake coverage but also look fresh like maybe you're not wearing as much as makeup as you actually are. Actually, I'm just gonna <laughs> clip my hair back, do that 90s thing. Who else wore these back in the 90s, these little butterfly clips? But I like, wore these out of the hat, it's like I thought I was dead cool. Anyway, so I've already done my skincare routine, um, but I am going to prep the skin with a primer because we are in the middle of summer right now and you need that makeup to stay on your face, especially when you're on a date. To prime the skin, I'm going to be using the Ren Perfect Canvas um, Primer. This is a silicone-free primer, which I really like. I don't like using silicones on my face at all. I feel it blocks the pores and it has a really nice sort of velvety matte finish. It's kind of like a serum. It comes in a dropper. So I'm just going to drop a few droplets onto the middle part of my skin where makeup tends to leave first or I have the most pores. Put some on the lids as well actually. I don't want to be wearing a full face of foundation if I go on a date, especially not first date. I think it's really important to show your skin at its best, obviously, but like caking stuff on really isn't my idea of date makeup. Right now, I'm absolutely loving these two products. It's my It's CC cream, which I adore. I talk about all the time. This is the illumination version. Um, it's almost empty. It also comes with um, Factor 50 plus UVA UVB, which is amazing. And then second position, I love this one too. This is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. Absolutely love this too. Usually though, this one pips this one to the post. But I do love both of them, so I'll link them both below. But today I'm going to go with... Um, today I'm going to go with the YSL. Why not? It's a date. Let's go fancy. Always a winner, that one. I love it. The reason I'm gonna use a light foundation or a CC for my base product is I'm a concealer junkie and I think cover with concealer, always use your base or your foundation as just a really like sort of like um, filter effect on you. So it doesn't have to be coverage, it just needs to be like a nice like filter like your skin but better. The two concealers that I'm loving at the moment are both super hardcore long wearing concealers. Here I have the Too Faced Born This Way Conceal Contour Highlight, Highlight Retouch. This comes in a really like a load of colours um, so you can basically get your contour shade, your highlight shade, your conceal shade. Um, I have here porcelain which I actually think is probably gonna be a little bit too light for me. I do have a little bit of a tan and then this one which I've been wearing religiously by Estee Lauder. Oh my god it's amazing. It's the double wear concealer. Stay in place all day. It really is amazing and I think for my date tonight I'm gonna go with the double wear. But before I jump in with that I'm just gonna do a bit of colour correction and to do that I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Concealer for under eyes. This has a tiny bit of peach through it so it's great for getting rid of those dark circles if like me you're going on four dates back to back uh, throughout the week <laughs> and you've got to make it look like this might just be the first one of the week. I'm literally just kind of smudging that in. I want to keep it in place so it does actually conceal the darkness and doesn't disappear. And then over the top, I'm gonna go in with that double wear. And remember guys, always the triangle shape. Otherwise, it's not gonna conceal as much and it also adds a really nice opening effect to your face. And then, buff it in. <laughs> canvas. So for date I definitely would always use a little bit of bronzer to shape my face. I, I usually don't do contouring unless I feel like I'm a little bit bloated or swollen. Unless it's super subtle contouring I'd usually stay away from contouring on a first date or a date just because it can look a little bit harsh. Especially if it's a day date I definitely wouldn't do it. So I'm going to do some bronzing now and to do that I'm going to use a new favourite of mine. That's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is the Nude Bronze in Light. 
I know that it doesn't really look like a bronzer right now, but it actually has a really nice bronzing effect. It's super natural, doesn't look orange, and it also keeps the glow about my skin as well. Don't fear though, we will be setting this makeup look. So this isn't the powder, it's just to add a bit of extra color back into my face. And with my big Armani uh, Kabuki brush, which I absolutely love, buff that in. You can see how it's sort of mattified my face but it's still got that really nice ambient lighting glow, which obviously Hourglass are famous for. Always take that bronzer down the neck. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do some cheeks. So I'm gonna be trying something new today from one of my favorite makeup brands ever, Charlotte Tilbury. She's got a few newbies that I still haven't tried yet. And this is her Pretty Fresh Pretty Youth Glow Filter. Charlotte's all about the filter looks right now. So in this one, you have the, it's sort of like a cream to powder effect uh, blusher at the top in a really pretty pink and then this is like a kind of a glossy cream highlighter which we can add on afterwards and you can actually get the uh, this brush which is a weird shape it's look at look, it's like a little paw it's called the cheek hug brush so I'm gonna try and use that with this product just to get the full effect I guess. For me, one of the most important things about a date, and I always make sure this is like something that I make sure is really perfect, is having a really pretty pink glow and flush to the cheeks. I think it's really attractive. It's also like um, science that tells us that a pink flush to the cheek also stimulates the appearance of like post-orgasm blushing. So I think that's really attractive on a woman on a date. And this brush is designed so it, it literally hugs the cheek like this. So I can just blend it in. I normally would just do a cream blush with my finger, but sure. This is gonna be more hygienic, I suppose. And then flipping the brush around, I'm just gonna run it through the highlight and add that to the cheekbones. When I'm doing date makeup, I don't like to overdo the eyes. At most, I normally just wear a slick of cream shadow in a fairly neutral color. Sometimes if I'm feeling adventurous or it's like a proper nighttime sexy date, I'll do like a bronzy smudge. I don't like doing too much eye makeup on a date. Um, I think it can feel a little bit too much, especially on first dates. I'm going to use one of the new Charlotte Tilbury quads this is the Exaggerize one, and it's the bigger, brighter eye filter quad. So you can see it's got um, a matte, sort of brownie colour here. This is her, is it the pop one? Yeah, the pop, like a super like glittery mica style. And then two shimmers here for like highlighting and stuff. So I'm only gonna use two of these colors just to keep things quite subtle. And I know she does her step-by-steps on the back, but I tend to do what I want. So I'm gonna take this colour here, which is the darker matte one in the pan, and just press that on all over the lid. Take it slightly above the crease as well, just to give a little bit more definition. Just a really, really subtle wash of colour, which I think is the perfect amount. And then what I'm gonna do is take this highlight shade here, which is the lightest one in the pan, and just add that to the inner corners, just to open up the eyes a little bit. Um, so this is like an oldie, but a goodie. I've used this for ages. It's the Chameleon Eye Stick by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Amber Haze color. It's kind of just like a bronzy hue. I'm gonna use that around the outer corners of the eyes and just kind of smudge it in. To give a bit of sex appeal to the look and make sure it's not too much girl next door because nobody wants to be the girl next door on the first date hell no just gonna take a small mac blending brush blend that into the lash line and blow a bit for some definition if i was to get married i think all my makeup would be charlotte tilbury or bobby brown bobby brown's like a classic bridal choice but i think charlotte tilbury kind of has the edge a little bit now, if you don't have very dark lashes, um, you can do one extra step, which I'm not gonna do here because I just have my lashes tinted, but that is to just run um, a dark brown pencil along the top waterline, and that will just fill in the lash line a little bit more and give your eyes a tad more definition. So I'm gonna do brows before mascara, and I'm gonna show you a product that I've actually been loving this summer. Um, I've not really been using pomades or powders on my brows. It feels a little bit heavy in the summer. Um, what I've been using is one uh, Kat Von D's brand new signature brow, and this is the Precision Pencil, and it comes in medium brown, and that's the color I use, and it's very, very precise. I'll just 
try and do a close up for you guys. It's just like a very, very thin one. And because the hole is so small as well, it always stays that shape. So no sharpening, loves it. My personal opinion that um, men don't generally understand brows, like the bigger, thicker, bolder brows, especially on a fair woman like me, they don't tend to understand. So I like the drip feeding method of like increasing the brow boldness and darkness over time. So the first day I'll always be like pretty subtle with my brows. Okay, mascara. Now I am a brown mascara wearer by choice. Sometimes I'll wear black if I'm going out on a night out, but I wanted to show you guys a new mascara that I've really been loving recently. Even though it is black, I have been loving the Eccentro One Giorgio Armani Mascara. So it's one of those comb brushes that I really, really love. I always take the excess off, but to be honest, what I really like about this product is there's not much excess. Nearly forgot to curl my lashes. I actually never curl my lashes, only for dates. These are the Shiseido curlers, which everyone loves. Right, so just dig this into the root. I don't want to overdo the mascara. I like to keep it natural on dates. Spider lashes. I don't know. My rules for lips on a first date makeup look tends to be big, natural, kissable lips. So I like to stay away from anything that's too severe. For example, liquid lipstick. I know it has the longevity, but I don't think it tends to look very kissable and natural. I also tend to stay away from glosses because they're too sticky. So something that's kind of like a your lips but better sort of color. Quite natural, but then again full and pink. So I'm gonna go for my trusty favorite, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. It's getting very small because I use it all the time. Um, and I did have the matching Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, but I lost it. So I'm gonna use something that's ki kind of similar, but a little bit cooler. And that's my MAC lipstick in Myrrh. Um, these are quite matte shades. So what I tend to do is put a little bit of lip balm on before I put this on so it does stay a little bit more um, natural and like wet look almost. So I'm just gonna just kind of touch that on. I don't wanna do like a full swipe of it. Nice, full, pink, pouty lips. The kissable. Do you kiss on a first date? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I was, I've been on a few dates recently and I've, I'm, I'm like, not, I'm not gonna kiss shame anyone. Like, I think if you wanna kiss someone on the first date, you should, like, you can. But like, sometimes I like a guy and I don't kiss them on the first date because I like them so much that I get like a little bit shy and I want them to make the first move. Also, I think if you kiss on the first date, it means like, it, you kind of get a sense of what they're like more. Like, if your styles are the same, like, if you're vibing, all of that. Kissing's fun. So that is almost finished. I'm just gonna finish the look with my Hero setting powder. This is my MAC Studio Fix powder. I use color NC30. I absolutely love this. It's got a yellow toned base, so it's gonna counteract all the redness in my skin. And I literally dust this on because this stuff is like cement, guys. You need to go easy with it. So I'm just like tapping a brush in there. And then I will just like dust over the areas I know I will lose my makeup the first because they're the most oily or they get the reddest. And that is it. So that's it guys, that is my go-to date makeup look. Perfect for first dates, pretty much perfect for any date. Fresh, glowy skin, obviously concealer to hide any imperfections, but keeping the realness, keeping the real skin texture coming through. A little bit of powder to set it, those pink flush cheeks to give you a really healthy, like pretty flush. Eyebrows, obviously defined, but natural with the hair strokes. And then a little bit of brown to define the eyes and some nice lashes and then full pink lips just to finish the look off. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll link all the products I've mentioned down below in the description box. Leave your comments if you like the video or you wanna chat about anything, I'll get back to you. And of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, and if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. The handle is on the screen now. And I will see you back on my channel really, really soon. Bye for now, guys. Thank you.